U.S. President Joe Biden said Tuesday that his administration is fully supportive of Israel after it thwarted an Iranian missile attack and that he's in active discussion with aides about what the appropriate response should be to Tehran. Biden also praised the U.S. and Israel militaries for defeating the Iranian missile barrage. Make no mistake, the United States is fully, fully supportive of Israel. Biden said at the start of a meeting with White House officials that is focused on the administration's ongoing response to Hurricane Helene. This comes as Iran has fired a barrage of missiles at Israel, sending Israelis diving into shelters but prompting celebrations across Iran. There was no immediate report of casualties in the attack late Tuesday. Israel said it intercepted many of the missiles, and officials in Washington said U.S. destroyers assisted in Israel's defense. Iran said most of its missiles hit their targets. The president said it remains to be seen what consequences Iran will face. Biden also said Tuesday he's directed his team to send every available resource that we have at our disposal to the affected region. Biden held a cabinet meeting to discuss recovery efforts across his administration in the wake of Helene's damage. He said the federal government would be helping until this work is done, and estimated it could take billions in recovery dollars to restore the region. We have to jumpstart this recovery process, he said. People are scared to death. This is urgent. Cadaver dogs and search crews trudged through knee-deep muck and debris in the mountains of western North Carolina on Tuesday looking for victims of Hurricane Helene, days after the storm carved a deadly and destructive path through the southeast. With Helene's death toll topping 150, searchers fanned out, using helicopters to get past washed-out bridges and hiking through wilderness to reach isolated homes. Alright, good. People are still walking in the door. Okay. Before I began, I wanted to say a few words about Iran's missile attack on Israel today. At my direction, the United States military actively supported the defense of Israel and we're still assessing the impact. But based on what we know now, the attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective. And this is testament to Israeli military capability and the U.S. military. I'm also, it's also a testament to intensive planning between the United States and Israel to anticipate and defend against the brazen attack we expected. I immediately approved emergency declarations as soon as I received the requests from the governors of the state officials. Make no mistake, the United States is fully, fully, fully supportive of Israel. And uh, I just I've been spent the morning in the, and part of the afternoon in the Situation Room and uh, meeting with my whole national security team and consulting with the Israelis indirectly because, I mean, in terms of their impact on us. And the national security team has been, as I said, in constant contact with Israeli officials and their counterparts. And is and this is going to continue to be brought to me throughout the day. We're still allowed to share updates uh, and uh, when we get them, and we will do that. The key departments and agencies all across the government to send every, and I mean it seriously, every... How, how, is, how would you like Israel to respond to Iran? Thank you, thank you, thank you, That's an active discussion right now. We've got to get all the data straight. We've been in constant contact with the, uh, with the Israeli government and our counterparts, and... That remains to be seen. What is your message to Prime Minister Netanyahu, and have you spoken with him today? I haven't spoken with him. We've sp we have spoken with all his people, and I'll be talking to him, and my message will depend on what we find finally conclude is needed. What do you believe the consequences for Iran should be? That remains to be seen. And now I want to turn to what we're going to talk about today. It's my top priority is to ensure the community is devastated by this hurricane get the help and support they need as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. As we watch the storm from the Gulf region form, I also directed FEMA to redeploy a substantial number of assets and resources to ensure we are ready to deal with what we expected and to support all the folks in need. To ensure we are ready to deal with what we expected and to support all the folks in need. I've been in frequent contact with the governors and other leaders in the impacted areas. And uh, we have to jumpstart this recovery process. People are scared to death. People wonder whether they're going to make it. We still haven't heard from a whole lot of people. This is urgent. People have to know how to know how to get the information they need. 
So we'll be there until this work is done. I'm going to, it's going to cost, I predict to you, I don't have a, a number. I think it's going to cost billions of dollars to restore these areas to where they were before. Until the work is done, we're going to stay. I'm going to, as I said, Congress needs to make sure that the states have every available resource. And we have an obligation. Anyway, so uh, we're going we're gonna to now have our cabinet meeting. I'll be in the region on Wednesday. And uh, we've had people down there already. It's just going to be real. This is really consequential. Homes come home, they're just washed away. Entire roads washed up, cliffs. I mean, it's just devastating. And so we're going to, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of coordination. And uh, if this were in the middle of the term, I'd be asking Congress for to prepare to, they haven't given me the money we need now for, for this materials that we need for dealing with these devastating storms. It's going to cost them, that's okay. It's probably, is that the speaker calling me? <laughs> he said he's in, right? <laughs>